kidnapper and a kidnappee. Um, you know, it's 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 a very twisted love story, a very violent story, um, and you know, it's 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 a very sensual movie. It's what you'll do for love, you know, and, and uh, these guys are in one spot where they're both in love with this girl at this moment in their lives, and, and you know, chaos happens. And, uh, and it's unraveled in such an intense, intricate way that only an Oliver Stone can really unravel. Believe it or not, the love story in it was intriguing to me because it, every character in it has someone they love. It may be at different levels and different frequencies, but they are all will go to savage means for the people they love. You can see the signature of Oliver Stone throughout the film, but you also can see some innovation in the way he does it. And I, it's really difficult. It was Oliver, the, the, the first thing that, you know, that really clicked and, you know, you felt like, oh, okay, you know, I gotta do this. I read the book and it was different, original, fresh, wild, unpredictable. The movie is a little different, you know, but that's the nature of the thing, but the movie never lets you relax, I don't think. It keeps twisting and turning. It's incredibly intimidating already just knowing that it's Oliver Stone, but then working with him is also even more intimidating because he's such a brilliant man and, and he loves surprising you. Um, not just in his films, but you know, in, in the way he interacts with his actors. It's just an amazing thing to be a part of, really. And, uh, you, you know, you want to push everything in every. Uh, and, you know, when you're working with Oliver, you're going to be pushed. And I love that. I'm a fan of the director, and it's a, it's a very good part for an actor. So he really plays. Everybody betrays everybody, kind of thing, and cat and mouse games, power, money, all that good stuff, and some sex too.